Um, I think the best part about animation is it's timeless. It doesn't matter what time period it's from, if it's from like 30 years ago or it's gonna be 20 years in the future, it's still enjoyable as the state it's in. I would have to say the whimsical freedom. The best thing about animation is it's a medium where you can be more absurd with your sketch ideas because it's kind of limitless as to what you want to do with it as live action is very limited. So what is animation? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hi, very happy to be here with you all. Animation's fantastic. And sometimes you can even meet girls. In its simplest terms, it is an illusion. An illusion that convinces viewers that a series of still images are in motion. Similar to what a video camera would do, except it is entirely handmade. Still animation is more than smoke and mirrors. It reflects spirit, soul, and hard work of the animator. I actually prefer traditional, or even digital traditional. So, because I, I feel that's more free and emotional. I'm more of the traditional type. I'm not good with computers, so this is what I'm more com comfortable with. For my first ever was doing pencil and paper, and I thought to myself, oh, I'm going to stick with that forever, and then I worked on a Comedy Central show. Uh, I worked on Ugly Americans, and that was all done in Flash. And so I spent five months working in Flash, and then I decided I'm going to stick to doing 2D Flash computer animation. There are several different modes of production. Hand drawing, stop animation, and digital animation. Hand drawing is the oldest style of animation. This style has been around before filmmaking. It has started with optical toys and flipbooks. Stop motion is a process that involves moving physical objects slightly. Each movement is documented by a still camera and is put together in a series that creates motion. Another style of animation is digital, which is fascinating because the tools of the trade are ever-changing. At its core, changes are intended to make the lives of the animators more convenient. It helps by streamlining the process and giving the animators more time to work on more sophisticated details that they would have otherwise overlooked. But regardless of the medium they choose to use, the process remains essentially the same. The first step is to start drawing out concepts. Then next is to illustrate the character into several different perspectives. Once that is completed, the animator begins drawing out a storyboard. The animator uses the storyboard as a reference to plot out his or her ideas, then begins the long haul. After this comes the revealing pencil test where every frame is photographed in a sequence. Once it is replayed, the animator finds out whether or not his or her work was in vain or successful. And that is how a cartoon is made. Uh, I encourage you all to pick up a pencil and draw until your heart is full. Something. Angina. It confuses. It could end your life. Animation. Death by animation. Right? Imagine. Yeah. Just imagine that.